Kate, welcome. Thank you, Mr. Swanson. Nice to see you again. Good. This is Kate Billings, who is an incumbent city councilman. Uh, city councilwoman, what's the proper phrase, Kate? Council member. Council member, <laughs> probably, <laughs> yes. Uh, sorry. That's okay. Uh, First question is for you to introduce yourself to the voters. Uh, tell us your story. What should we know about you? Well, usually I talk about all the activities I do in the city, but this time I'm, I'm trying to do a little bit more personal. Um, I started teaching in Long Branch in 1973, and um, I had a, a wonderful career 33 years. And during that career, um, I met my husband, Dave Billings. Um, we uh, both were teachers. He was at, in Long Branch. I was, then he moved to Keensburg. And people say in a moment your life can change. Well, that happened to me in August of 2007 when my husband unexpectedly passed away. So I learned to do a whole new normal kind of life. But during that time, I had my school community. They were always there with me go forward five years and I become a Sandy victim. Um, I literally was displaced from my home for over eight months. But during that time, I got to spend a lot of time with the city of Long Branch personnel, with the first responders, um, with residents. I got to share with residents. who We were all going through the same thing and I got to see how good the people of Long Branch are and how they, in times of adversity, they just rise and they become a true city. I mean, everyone was helping everyone else. And I got to see the city at its best. So sometimes things happen, um, they're not very pleasant, but you get to see the good part of the city or the situation. It brings out the good in people. Um, I've been told sometimes I have rose-colored glasses. Well, I have rose-colored glasses because I'm positive. Um, I want the city to thrive. I want the city to be better than it ever was. I enjoy the city. I love the people of the city. And I hope to continue serving them. Okay. So I guess you probably almost answered my next question <laughs> is, why are you running for re-election? Well, the number one reason I'm running for re-election is because I love what I do. I love helping the city of Long Branch residents. I like being a part of the progress that's happening here in Long Branch. I am a member of the planning board, so I see projects, redevelopment uh, projects that will are on paper, and then all of a sudden they come springing out of the ground. And there's nothing better for me as a planning board member to see that. And that's part of the reason I want to run, too. I, I know we have projects that we've seen them on paper. They've been approved. But I want to see them to fruition. I want to see them, especially downtown Broadway. I think that is going to be a positive, positive impact on the entire city and all of its residents. So that's part of the reason I want to run again. OK. Uh, which you almost are answering my questions before I get to them. <laughs> I was going to say, what about the next four years? What, what would be a focus? So downtown Broadway would be a heavy it's focus? One of my focuses. I'd also like to um, get rid of the perception that we are only worrying about the oceanfront. That's so, so not true. Um, and as a planning board member, I've seen that. I've seen projects all over. I know that we've had over 500 zoning permits in the last year. And only 20 of them were on the oceanfront. If you ride around the city, you see people fixing up their homes, building new homes, uh, because they want to live here. They, want, they love the city, and they want to stay and become part of this community. OK. Uh, the downtown Broadway frustration that I've heard people refer to, uh, why is the, and you were talking about speed. So I'm, I'm kind of asking you about mm -hmm. the, the speed of development and the frustration maybe that's sometimes there. But why has it taken so long? Well, it took them a long time because there were some, I believe, internal problems within the new developer. I also believe that they thought they were going to bully the city by not paying their taxes. And uh, we wouldn't stand for that. We said no. But it takes a long time because the plans itself take a long time. And there's a whole procedure they have to go through to get 
even to the planning board. So they meet and when they negotiate, I've been in on negotiating meetings. You talk about simple things like landscaping, you talk about streetscape, you talk about stormwater management, you talk about uh, siding on a building. So it does take a long time. And there were times where we thought it was never gonna happen downtown Broadway and now we're very enthusiastic that hopefully they'll get their planning board approval and we'll get a shovel to the ground. Okay. Anything else you want to focus on that you're looking at most in, in, hmm. in the short term in the next four years? I am, um, well I've been knocking on doors, I've met a lot of residents and some of them have what they consider, oh, it's not important in the big picture of life, but some quality of life problems in the city that I would like to work on. Um, we've heard about the sidewalks in town. Um, occasionally, I'll hear about um, maybe a, a DPW problem or something like that, and that's part of what I believe my responsibility as a council person to do is to um, work with these people to have them have a better quality of life. Okay. Um, we've got some limited time, so Maybe you want to summarize why you're, you're, what, why we should vote for you for city council. Well, I believe they have unique continuity in any municipal or any government, and um, myself and two of my running mates are uh, incumbents. But we do have new blood also coming in, so I think we will bring that um, continuity and follow through on projects and ideas we have. Okay. Okay. Kate, thank you very much. Thank you, Doug.